Capricorn, how are you? This is your daily tarot card reading and it is for Thursday. We're going to go into the energy, we're going to see what message we get for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So thanks for subscribing, thanks for supporting. Let's go into an overall energy for you. Okay, Two of Abundance. Life may be feeling a little out of balance right now. You could be working multiple jobs or trying to make a change to your dream career. It is important to keep things light, to stay in touch with your inner child. Make your work as playful as possible. <laughs> Multitasking with a pos positive attitude can bring success. Um, it is about you getting more of a balance in your life and also a healthy balance. So you might be concentrating on your health, uh, your growth, um, there's also abundance here, you know, uh, a good balance of money coming in. Um, also, you know, healthier relationships, really. That's all improving. So let's go a bit deeper for you. Feeling more healthy, feeling more positive with the two of abundance. Making the right choices. Everything flowing better for you. So... Um, what we've got here is some cards that have just fallen out. Now, um, you're letting go of fears and things are going to be revealed. I think it's going to become more and more obvious the people in your life who actually care about you and um, who are there for you. You know, that's becoming much more plain and real for you to see. And there's no more illusions now about the people that, you know, aren't really there for you at the moment or can't be there for you at the moment. Um, it's going to be easier for you to make decisions going forward. Um, information could be coming out. You could be something could be being revealed as well. Something that you were worried about. Um, so there could be information coming. Um, now, there's something here you're not happy about. I think maybe you feel like you're not receiving something from somebody either in the family or maybe even soul family. Um, it's, it's like uh, not receiving support in some way. And, um, you know, this is a, a tricky thing to deal with. And, um, you know, it's really about knowing that you can be kind of at peace with things, even if it's not ideal. You know, if certain people are letting you down at the moment, it's just how do you come to peace and acceptance about it? And focus on the people that are in your life who you do resonate with, who are there for you, you know, and making choices and decisions that are right for you and not wasting energy on people that are just basically unreliable, you know, because it feels like there's been somebody that's taken from you and I think they've taken too much or they've just not been very present lately. Um, now, the person I'm talking about has got some challenges around their mental health. They've got the moon cards and it's in the challenge position. So it feels like this person is um, sort of either depressed or suffering with anxiety. Um, they can't think clearly. They can't make decisions. Um, they could be quite tired. Um, so I think this is probably what's making them unreliable and, um, you know, just not present. Um, they're not very confident in themselves at the moment. It's like they've lost confidence and they, they're not really uh, learning their higher lessons here. Um, I think they're struggling. This person's definitely, definitely struggling. Um, they're quite rebellious at times. So you, I don't think you'd be able to communicate with this person to get them to... I mean, whether it's a person or, or, or an authority, you know, this, this could be a work organisation or some large authority... Um, you know, there's there's certain information that still needs to come out here. Um, there is definitely a lack of organisation from this person or authority. Um, there's a lack of alignment. Um, def definitely feels like you're being let down here. Uh, but I would say really... Um, you know, the timing, it would be better to give this a bit more time to see if that situation is going to improve. Uh, because you wouldn't be able to force anything to really happen at the moment with this person or 
situation, shall we say. If, if it's a situation, uh, you'd need to give this a bit more time, unfortunately. Um, I feel this person creating bad karmic patterns for themselves, to be honest with you. Um, or if it's an authority or a situation, it's it's not going the right way and somebody would need to be held accountable uh, from what I can see. Um, let's have a look at the Lover's Oracle. If it's, if it's a person as well, I mean, this person could be feeling quite tired, quite stressed, they're not going to be emotionally available, that type of thing. Um, let's have a look at this. Um, if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. The heart is the gateway to the soul. That's the most important thing. You're seeing things clearly. You know who you can rely on. You know who you can't rely on. Um, you know there's certain situations that still need to be resolved, but it can't necessarily be resolved now. So what Spirit is saying is work with what you've got and tune into your own heart chakra vibration and do the things that bring you into that vibration. Because obviously that's really where you need to be. You need to be in the heart chakra vibration as much as you can. Because that aligns you with spirit. Um, so that's the advice really. Um, yeah, you've got here somebody saying, let's take it slowly please. So whoever this is, <laughs> or like I said, if it's a situation or an organisation, it, it's, it's a timing thing. You've got to give it more time. Um, which may be very frustrating because you may feel you've already given it plenty of time. Let's have a look at the consciousness deck just to see what um, we get there. Remember your alignment. So again, like I said, remember your heart chakra alignment and emanating from that place. Um, and attachment is your own mental projection. You know, it's thinking about what is your expectations of your attachments? <laughs> because um, that is the ego. When you're fully aligned to consciousness, you won't expect anything from anybody because you'll just be at peace. And maybe that's the place you're getting to right now. I hope so, I feel it probably is. With the two of abundance, it's like you're just able to be at peace with where people are at and, and where things are at in your life and just, just be, you know, surrendered to it and just stay in the heart chakra alignment. So that's the message, uh, Capricorn. If you do like it, please give me a thumbs up. If you like a one-to-one -one tarot, I'm here. Just contact me. And I'm sending you lots of love, lots of peace, wherever you are on Gaia for your Thursday.